Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Numbers chapter 10, beginning at verse 11 and ending at verse 36. This is the New King James Version. Now it came to pass on the twentieth day of the second month, in the second year that the cloud was taken up from above the tabernacle of the testimony, and the children of Israel set out from the wilderness of Sinai on their journeys, then the cloud settled down in the wilderness of Paran. So they started out for the first time according to the command of the Lord by the hand of Moses. The standard of the camp of the children of Judah set out first according to their armies. Over their army was Nashon, the son of Amminadab. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Issachar was Nethanel, the son of Zuar. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Zebulun was Eliab, the son of Helon. Then the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set out, carrying the tabernacle. And the standard of the camp of Reuben set out according to their armies. Over their army was Eliezer, the son of Shadur. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Simeon was Shelemel, the son of Zuri Shaddai. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Gad was Eliasaph, the son of Duel. Then the Kohites set out carrying the holy things, the tabernacle would be prepared for their arrival. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set out according to their armies. Over their army was Elishema, the son of Amiahud. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Pedazer. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Abadan, the son of Gideoni. Then the standard of the camp of the children of Dan the rear guard of all the camps set out according to their armies. Over their army was Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pagiel, the son of Okran. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Enan. Thus was the order of march of the children of Israel according to their armies when they began their journey. Now Moses said to Hobab, the son of Raul, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, we are setting out for the place of which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us and we will treat you well, for the Lord has promised good things to Israel. And he said to him, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and to my relatives. So Moses said, Please do not leave. Inasmuch as you know how, we are to camp in the wilderness, and you can be our eyes. And it shall be, if you go with us, indeed it shall be, that whatever good the Lord will do to us, the same will we do to you. So they departed from the mountain of the Lord on a journey of three days, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them for the three days' journey, to search out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was above them by day when they went out from the camp. So it was, whenever the ark said out, that Moses said, Rise up, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee before you. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, to the many thousands of Israel. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.